Light Works. I hope that you are blessed and well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here for you or any of my other videos. So feel free to check the library. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I love you guys so very much. And I really hope that the content is helping you on your healing path. So I was reading over um, the enlightened authentic self. Y'all know your girl is an uh, avid reader, okay? I like to read and God really leads me to different books for our messages. So I was reading over and this part popped up. It says, what does the awakened person care about? Okay, I instantly knew that this was a message. So we're going to get into it and see what it says, okay? Let's go ahead and take a few long, deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know today. Let there be none of me and all of you. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. And please encamp the angels of protection around myself in the collective. Please and thank you. A shame. Okay. So this says, what does the awakened person care about? They do not bother too much about other egos or identities. The whole game drops. It stops having a hook on them. The world does not disappear as such. It is not that this body suddenly no longer exists or you do not exist anymore. No, your body is here and everything is as it is. But in this emptiness, there is no hope that this or that would change. This hope dissipates and you recognize that it was a hook. And if you take this hook seriously, you may be in trouble if you take yourself seriously. If you start defending this and that, problems might arise. If you take other people's hooks seriously, more trouble may arise, okay? This is all about the ego death, okay? And what happens to us when we wake up and we realize this simulation 3d matrix energy that we are in and how other people feel about it and problems absolutely problems can arise and will arise um, especially when you are dealing with people that do not share your perspective people that are not awakened those types of people gonna label you crazy <laughs> yeah they're gonna call you crazy they're gonna oppose everything you say they're gonna try to engage in arguments and that's exactly what this book is talking about if you take if you start defending this and that problems may arise right if you start trying to defend your position and how you feel about the matrix the universe spirituality all of this stuff for to someone that's unawakened okay problems will arise if you take the other people's hook seriously more problems may arise okay so that is the pre-channel message about the ego death and i think more so it's about us understanding that if you're not awakened if you're dealing with people that are not awakened 
do not stretch yourself then trying to um, justify your position trying to make people understand where you're coming from um, some people love a good debate some people are in the energy of really proving um, these points about you know the awakening spirituality dark night of the soul ascension consciousness all the things that we talk about here this is a safe space for it because we're all the majority of us are all familiar and uh, open and receptive to receive these types of things but the matrix mentality people they they they're not okay they're not they're not ready for it so it's okay to that doesn't mean don't share or don't you know share your opinion but just it's just the expectation and anticipating someone uh being on board with your perception of spirituality it's problems may arise like the book said all right so let's see why this is coming up here i'm being guided to this deck here we have sacrifice on the bottom of the deck okay hmm childhood trauma okay higher love this is the the idea of us sacrificing that mentality that the value that's held in the ego okay we're laying all that to the wayside okay we're healing our childhood trauma okay we're going towards a higher love a higher consciousness okay connecting with our higher self Holy Spirit, I'm hearing just two from here. What is the message? Or just a few. Okay. The frozen shoulder. Okay, the frozen shoulder, the cold shoulder. This is the idea of not allowing those problems to arise. Like I said in the book, if you're just like, given that energy the cold shoulder you're not about to argue with somebody okay just be there stand tall in your frozen energy okay because when you're frozen you're unbothered okay you're not you're not doing that okay we got coming soon in the reverse okay this is the energy of you not going into anything engaging in that type of energy what else holy spirit two 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 is significant i'm still standing elton john okay this is the energy of you standing in your power okay two 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 is significant i'm gonna look that up right now i want to get there's a specific meaning that they want somebody else is like can't keep running away so you may have somebody in your energy that is eager to debate and argue with you about your perspective. Oh, those types really annoy me. But <laughs> I digress. <laughs> it's getting a little late and I'm a little sleepy. And for all of my new subscribers, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Um, it's been a while since I've explained this. So when i get sleepy and i'm instructed to do a read on the flip okay whenever they say you need to do it if i'm sleepy sometimes i can be a little comically sarcastic or giddy or i can be a lot of things when i'm sleepy okay today's one of those days okay so this is gonna be an interesting read <laughs> but Generally, it's all it's more funny than anything because my guides keep me laughing so that I can keep y'all laughing so that I can get through this read because I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. All right, angel number two, two, two. Let's see here. Two, two, two. 
222 is a number associated with balance, collaboration, love, and harmony, okay? Trust that everything is working out exactly as it's supposed to with divine blessings for everyone involved. Okay, there is a different message that they're guiding me to. Let me get to it. Okay, this is the one. If you keep seeing the number 222, it can mean that a shift is coming and that now is the time to take action and stop worrying about the future, okay? So, this goes back to what the book was saying. 222 is all about balance and harmony, okay, and uh, collaboration. So this is the energy of your guides working with you, um, creating balance and harmony, wanting to keep you in this balance and harmony energy because there's somebody in your energy that is eager to debate with you about spirituality, I'm sensing. Ain't these folks got anything better to do? <laughs> okay. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, they want me to pull a couple from this deck, too. Crystals could be significant. You may be guided to, yeah, the new earth, okay? Yeah, this is that energy. They don't want to hear this, okay? When I flipped it back, it went into the reverse. Okay. They don't want to hear it. They don't believe it, okay? You could be uh, you could be a reader or they could be getting readings on you. Both, okay? Yeah, religious beliefs is in the reverse, okay? So maybe you are not religious and they want to argue with you about it, okay? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Am I taking this out? No. Okay, we have fear not, my child. Okay, so your guides are with you. Look at what I said. Angelic and ancestral protection. Okay, your guides are with you. They don't want you to be worried about this person. But there's some reason why you need this protection. This person is a radical type of energy. This person is a, a, a bit of a doozy. Um, what am I picking up on with this person, Holy Spirit? What, who's this person? Yeah, this person is very defensive and over it in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you, this person's not over it. This person wants to chat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Stagnant in the reverse, okay? This person, this person wants to smoke. What's wrong with this person? awareness in the reverse okay this person is not aware okay <laughs> okay storage is empty memory empty brain em empty <laughs> potentially <laughs> dumb 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 <laughs> okay that wasn't very nice Okay, this is one of them days, y'all. Love me. Love me as I am. I love y'all as y'all are. I'm sleepy, okay? This person's storage is low, okay? They don't get it. But this person is eager to argue with you. <sighs> These people. Okay, they want me to clarify defense first. This is this person's energy. Tell us about defense, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Yeah, this person is about to take you to school. <laughs> they gonna teach you something. 
This is what your guys are advising you to do. Stay in this frozen shoulder energy. Just relax. If this person tries to approach you with the nonsense, just give them frozen shoulder. Let listen. Let them listen to themselves talk. Okay. Yeah, because this person wants to smoke. I'm trying to tell you, this person. This person. Oh my! This person can be somebody like in your family. Or someone that you previously shared your beliefs with, okay? Oh, oh Lord, this could be somebody you were very close to. Hmm. Okay. Somebody wants to argue. Somebody wants to argue with you. Why is defense here? Good news. This person feels like they're bringing the good news. This person feels like confident, okay, about what their their knowledge, what they're talking about. Why is defense and good news here? This person's coming with some documentation. <laughs> This person has done a little research, okay, to take you down. This person is angry. <laughs> this person is angry. This person is angry. I feel like you might have shut this person down before. You might have been in this frozen shoulder energy with this person before. And now they want to come back and destroy you with this. Save yourself. <laughs> this person is trying to leave you with the L. They want to destroy you. Okay. They want to destroy your beliefs. This person is going to go to great lengths to try to destroy your beliefs and give you. They want, to they want you to lose this debate. This is so elementary, this read. But there's something significant about this person. Oh, this is this is not no just this is not a regular this is not a regular debate energy. This person has some very strong views against whatever it is that you think about it, okay? And this person is being controlled by something. Okay? Yeah, this person wants to hurt your feelings and hurt you, period. This person wants to Show you, I'm hearing. Show you. Why is I'm still standing here? Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person tried to send you some type of spiritual attack. This person tried to send you something. Why is I'm still standing here? Yep, with reservation in the reverse, this person was not reserved. They came for you in some type of way. They sent something to you. This egotistical person, okay? The book was about ego deaths, okay? This is this person. I said this person could be in your family. Why is I'm still standing here in reservation in the reverse? Yeah, this person sent you something, but it wasn't nice. It wasn't it wasn't with in a pink box with a bow on it. This person tried to send you something. What did this person try to send? This person is stubborn. I maybe you maybe you told this person let's not talk about it. You know, we just agree to disagree and this person is like no 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 what's the gift holy spirit what's the gift the conflict okay this is what they're sending your way conflict energy conflict spells 
okay but it's not hitting you it's in the reverse they're trying to send you some type of stress <sighs> the main folks that are supposed to be religious folks okay I'm not classifying everybody please don't drag me in the comments please don't do that okay <sighs> protest why is the frozen shoulder here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, you're chilling while this person, this, all of this blue, this very chill energy, this person is trying to capture you. You might have told this person you have somewhere to be. <laughs> I have to go schedule. That's significant for someone. Or I don't feel well, I gotta go. <laughs> oh my. Why is frozen shoulder here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I've got to go plant a tree. You are unbothered you're unbothered and that's exactly what you're guiding to, to stay in this unbothered energy withdraw thank you Holy Spirit why is 222 here this is your spirit guides watching this egotistical person Why is New Earth 5D in the reverse? Yeah. I feel like this is the, maybe there's more than one person with collaboration and stress. Maybe something, maybe you're sharing your views and a lot of people are pressed about about it. Wow, excuse that, y'all. <laughs> These people feel like you're taking something away. Tradition. You're robbing people of tradition, religious tradition. Yeah, they're not trying to hear your perspective. Why is awareness in the reverse? Let's wrap this up, y'all. Confinement. This person doesn't understand all of this self-love stuff. They don't get it. person has a very closed off mentality not aware anything else your guys are saying don't worry about it we got you over there watching over you justice is on the bottom of the deck okay I feel like there's something else with this person though because why why is this even relevant Okay, there's something significant. I know that they're sending you something. It seems like just negative energy, conflict energy, but there's something else here. I can feel it. They're showing me the Hierophant. The Hierophant is in the reverse. Okay, it was in the upright, then it went in the reverse. So this could be some type of link to some type of institution. <sighs> I went right back to robbery. So these people feel like you're taking something away with how you're speaking or what you're saying. These people, like I said, are controlled by some type of institution or entities 
What am I picking up on here? What is this energy? Strategy. And faith. And evidence. They're doing something. Somebody's doing something. Idea. What is the strategy? What is strategy? feel like they're trying to plot to have a lot of people come connect with you to debate with you or to start some type of argument or issues with you okay because this person this main person has been unsuccessful so I feel like now there's going to be if you have a platform they could be sending these people to your platform to comment to engage with you, to overload you and stress you out. They want you to stop is what I heard. In their dreams. Yeah, you're gonna keep teaching and learning. Let's get some advice. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, they want me to get some tarot. What am I click? Oh my goodness, y'all. Didn't I say I, I saw the Hierophant? They showed me the Hierophant in my third eye. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ten of Swords. This organization. Now, ironically, I placed this on top of strategy, stress, collaboration. And this card is the New Earth 5D in the reverse. Okay, so this institution is strategizing. I knew this wasn't just a regular old somebody wants to argue with you. That's not really newsworthy. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh spirit. Thank you for your message. What what are we dealing with here? What is this? Holy Spirit, what's the message? These people think you didn't fail and bumped your head. <laughs> or these people want to make you fall and bump your head. I think it's a little bit of both. They feel like what you're bringing is BS. Why is the Hierophant here? The Hierophant. Two of Cups in the reverse, okay. They're trying to destroy whatever type of partnership or union you have. They're doing something to try to break up what you're doing, your connection to the divine. They're doing something. This spell work involved in this. I can feel it. What is this, Holy Spirit? Oh, I have zero energy for this. <laughs> zero. 
Holy Spirit. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Four of Swords. We saw a tarot reader, and I said they might have gotten a reading on you. I feel as though they have, because the Hierophant is showing up, Two of Cups in the reverse, whatever partnership or connection you have to the Divine, they're sending spell work for sure. I don't even need to see the Magician to know, okay? They're now realizing that you have some type of connection to the divine and you have wish fulfillment and opportunities coming they know that you are tapped in that you are connecting with the divine through prayer and meditation okay and now this person is not so sure that what you're talking about what you're bringing is bs so they may be walking away from that old idea and now trying to find a way to take your opportunities and wish fulfillment from you by dropping you on your head. <laughs> Confirmation. Holy Spirit, what is the message? What else should we be aware of? Yep. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. They want to shake your pockets out. Take your pinnacles. Oh, what happened to that upright, upstanding citizen? Where did they go? Tower. Deep regret. <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit? What else do these people do? They're really trying to get to you. They really are. And I feel like it's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, look at this. This conflict. These folks want you tied up in the mind, okay? What's the final outcome here, Holy Spirit? Because their magic is not going to work. It's not going to work. No matter how hard they try, Knight of Pentacles, they've been working hard trying to get you, trying to put this this illusion spell work on you. Confusion. Conflict spells. It's being illuminated. Justice is already here. What should we be aware of? What's the final message, Holy Spirit? These people are going to be guided to walk away. From their moon magic and all of this secret energy. Secret society energy. The Hierophant. Yeah, they're being guided to end whatever this is that they're doing. Okay. The Lovers. Why is the Lovers here? This could be family or a lover that you, that's involved in this. The Death card, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. This is looking like this could be someone you ended a connection with. Someone that either left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold. Uh, 
You could have stepped into your spirituality following the connection with this person. You could be highly intuitive. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this could be a King of Pentacles type of energy. Or you could be a King of Pentacles and this person could be a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This person wants to bring you a lot of burdens. Yeah, Judgment is here. The Hermit and the Empress. God is watching over this situation. You are protected. None of this magic is going to work. Why am I coming here? I got it made this deck. Why? Three friends are involved. What? There's a lot of people involved in this. Okay, a lot. Why do I have this deck? What else, Holy Spirit? <sighs> they just wanted me to know that I was right. <laughs> yeah, that's evident. What else, Holy Spirit? And this magic flew right on top of this right card flew right on top of loss, okay? These people are oh, so predictable. Some evidence is coming out about what these people have been trying to do to you. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Somebody's going to jail. <laughs> I heard that clearly. Something that this institution is doing with money. Your money. Something they're doing to get money off of you and your energy. I believe we saw sacrifice at the top of this read. That they might have tried to sacrifice you for money I feel like the plot to argue with you is just to connect with you and your energy I was wondering where this was going because that just seems so elementary to me why am I reading on somebody's wanting to argue with you okay but it's more than that they're wanting to connect with you to be in your energy to attach something to you folks are going to be sorry, sorry, so sorry. What's the advice, Holy Spirit? Thank you for the messages. Guidance system. I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or far away I am from what I want. When I am feeling joy in doing the things I love, I am in a state of allowing for my desires. I notice when I am feeling low vibration thoughts, low vibrational thoughts, and shift them to release the resistance. Okay. This is your spirit guides and ancestors telling people they better think again. When they think about doing something, they better think again. They better use this guidance system and get a clue before trying to come for you. That's all. <laughs> One more, please, Holy Spirit. Yep. They better release the idea of trying to come for you. Okay. Conscious focus. Your guides are have conscious focus on these people in this situation. They are watching like a hawk. I love y'all. That was the read. I really hope that it helped you. 
uh, forgive my giddy, sleepy nighttime energy. It is what it is. <laughs> I love y'all. I really hope that this read helps you. Um, fear not. I think we saw fear not. Okay, these people can't do anything to you. They get on my nerves, y'all. They get on my nerves. Stay with this magic. None of it's working. When will they learn? Anyway, my loves, you are protected, as you already know. Um, cleanse your energy because they are sending, sending this magic your way. If you are in need of a read, my information, a personal read, my information is in the description box. If you need a meditation, check the Lightworks goodie bag. Um, there's a lot of good meditations there to cleanse and clear your energy. If you are feeling like donating to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. But it's never expected. My information for donations or love offerings is in the description box as well. Okay, and know that you're going to stay standing because none of these folks can do, okay? We four knocks with it over here. All right? Ain't no infiltrating in that. And that's not to be cocky. It's just because God loves us and is not about to let us be destroyed by these Tweedledee, Tweedledum, 5 of Wands energies. They work on my last piece of nerve, okay? Until next time, family, I love you. Cleanse your energy. Take a few deep breaths and relax and release, okay? Until next time, I shake.